Hey, before we get into this video, please note that we'll spoil events of Chapter 5 and the ranking of every previous hero in this series. So if you don't want that, please consider throwing this into your watch later folder so you can come back when you're ready. Alright, let's get started. Welcome back to Ranking Every Hero, the series where I will rank every hero. The goal of this series is to create the objectively best heroes in the community so that no one will argue over it whatsoever. Today's subject is the fearsome leader of Colony Iota, Alexandria. So let's get into it. Okay, if you haven't watched any other videos in the series, I'll be ranking each criteria, which are character, quest, and class, out of five, and then averaging out all three of those scores to get a final score. Based on what score they get, they'll be put on a certain tier on the tier list, which I put the criteria for on screen. Okay, rule explaining done, let's actually get started. Let's start with character. This is judged based on the character themselves, like their personality, character design, etc. Alexandria's first impression is much different than pretty much every hero in the game. So much so that in your first impression, the game literally says, don't go try to follow her or you will get wiped. This gives her this really powerful aura that you don't really get with any other hero when you first meet them. Every other hero quest, you meet the character and then you do the quest. But with her, you meet her and then you have to come back once you get more powerful. It definitely makes her stand out. However, as you soon find, although she is a very smart commander and the tales of her exploits are not fiction, she does occasionally have a soft side to her. She's very guarded, but as she gets to know Noah's group better, she does become a bit more mellowed out. And although she doesn't look it, she's the same age as Valdi, a sixth termer. Her overall character design is alright too. She's much taller than most other characters in the game, really getting to lands and tie on height. Her outfit is very clearly Agnian with not too much flair on it. Overall, nothing that stands out too much on the design, but it's not bad by any means. Overall, a decent character. 3.25 out of 5. Quests are rated on how well they tell the character's story and how fun they are. Since Alexandria is a commander of a colony, I will count all quests related to Colony Iota. Iota's quests are actually somewhat unique. There's obviously the normal quest for any colony, like finding enemies or doing a pretty normal fetch quest, but Iota has a unique feature. You see, Alexandria actually created the Collectopedia cards. Remember those things that were introduced early in Chapter 1? If you do a certain quest, instead of getting rewarded with items for completing quests, you will be rewarded with Colony Iota goods, which you can then distribute among certain colonies. This makes the relationship between Iota and the colony you're giving it to better. It's really unique, and it made me start using the Collectopedia cards again. It's a neat feature. As for Alexandria's initial and ascension quests, they're both pretty good too. Remember when I said you had to come back later for their initial quest? Well, there's a reason for that. Alexandria actually didn't like the Mobius that held the minion over the colony, so she put Noah's group through a mini trial to see if they were strong enough to take out the colony for proceeding over the colony. You learn she's cunning and always tries to be a step ahead of the enemy. You also learn that she doesn't really have a hierarchy in her colony like the others. She tries to be as efficient as possible and tries to do what she thinks is best for the colony for the betterment of it. The Ascension quest is also really good. She still holds a small grudge against Colony 30, which is Valdi's colony, for beating them when the two colonies fought. However, one of Iota's members wants to hold a tech summon at the colony, and surprisingly, Alexandria ends up agreeing to do him. You can tell she's a bit on edge about it though, because while Volney is nerding out about Pharonis's, she does tell him to calm it down a little bit. After getting a short tour though, Alexandria finds out that one of the Pharonis's Valdi took in to study is actually trying to make a poison, one that can be nigh undetectable if put into food. Kinda odd she knows that, but whatever. The group then tries to find who programmed the Pharonis to do that. And what do you know, it is a Mobius. And it turns out, it was actually Colony 30's old console who did it. I completely forgot he technically didn't die. He's making some cool tech which can paralyze people by using water, which there happens to be quite a bit of under Colony 30. How convenient. He also reveals the reason Alexandria knew so much about poison ingredients, because she poisoned her old commander. However, the Mobius' attempt to make Noah's group abandon her fails massively, as Noah literally risks death to save her from falling off a cliff. And a failed attempt like that deserves a depressing end. The Mobius dies to an energy beam fired off from the Lucky Seven, not even the sword itself. She then reveals afterwards that she poisoned the old commander because the old commander was too nonchalant about just sending soldiers off to their death, not really caring if they lived or died. So she took over to protect the colony people, which Noah's group respects, but not the means of doing it. They tell her that she can trust them and they'll have her back if she needs it. This allows her to put her guard down a bit, revealing the softy that she truly is inside a little bit. Overall, great character development through these two quests. Okay, but before I move on, can I talk about this? In the Ascension quest, you literally have to follow a trail for three minutes to get to the fight. I'm fine with walking and following trails, but three minutes? It felt like padding the quest because they didn't have anything to fight in the middle that would thematically work. So they made you walk. There's only four lines of dialogue for this entire time too. 
so they're not even really saying anything this entire time. I know I'm nitpicking, but I need to get that off my chest. Walking aside, great line of quests. 4.5 out of 5. For class, I rate it on how fun and useful the class is. Pretty simple. And Cursor's class is absolutely insane. Its main gimmick is that you stack your crit chance and damage just by playing the game. You have Android Play, which increases your damage by 8% for every crit you land. I for weak points increases your crit chance by 2% for every successful auto attacker art you use, which doubles your crit rate once you max it. And you just get a free 150% increase on auto attack crit chance with Vigilance. And you also double your crit chance on launch enemies with Floating Kill. Pair this with a high damage build and this becomes incredibly broken. You don't even need to necessarily use items that increase crit rate either because the class and skills do it for you. This obviously makes the class a prime candidate for Arc Sage Gauntlet runs, as with launch charge and using the buffs you get from Incursor, you can lay out a ton of damage in a short period once you stack the buffs up. I mean, who doesn't love doing over 10,000 damage per auto attack? And it only stacks the further the battle goes on, meaning it is a good fit for hard mode runs where the fights can sometimes drag out a bit long. Overall, a really fun and broken class. 4.5 out of 5. And with that, we have a rating of... 4.1 for Alexandria, Yay! and that puts her in S tier. And that's that. Thank you all so much for watching until the end. I really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps support the channel a lot. If you want to see me do a certain character next, consider leaving a comment. I read every comment, even the 2,000 word essay ones. But with that, I'd once again like to thank you all so much for watching. And I hope you have a great day, evening, night. And this is Crystallized, signing out.